so Ross has got the port forward hole kind of cleaned out because he needed to get under this um, bed in here. Figured since we've got everything out of here right now, since this has kind of been like the where we throw crap room, um, I thought I'd probably should go through that stuff and just kind of figure out where it's going to go and then also clear that spot for storage of probably some other stuff in there all this stuff that's normally on the bed in there so I've just cleaned this port uh forward berth here nicely just the walls and the ceiling and whoop, looks pretty good it wasn't that dirty really oh, just a lot of gunk here and there but um, but I've got some spots on these, um, on the mattress here. And I'm wondering if my new stuff will get it off. Because I'm pretty sure these are Sunbrella. Because they, this is the same material that's up front on the, on the city, on the bench up in the, um, galley. So, I'm going to give it a shot. This is what Sunbrella says to do. So, we'll see if I have any luck here. So uh, here's that black looking spot and definitely some improvement you can see those really like black where it was really dark is not coming out as well. Um, I think I might give that one a rest. See, see what it looks like in a bit. And then I got out a bunch of just like little spots just by rubbing the cloth over a few spots so that was good. So it looks a lot better. Here's the other spot. It's really hard to, oh, it's hard to see. It's, it's pretty much, it has a little tint to it. It's hard to tell because it's wet from the cloth, so I'm not sure. But I think it's still just a little brown looking. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to let it dry and then come back to it. But overall, I don't know how long these spots have been here. So I don't know how good this stuff really is. But looks looks like, I mean, definitely worth, I think I got these for like five or six bucks. And there's 40 of them in here. So definitely worth the money I think. This morning when we got up I was like hey we should probably try and get a hold of the captain today um, and see kind of what his schedule looks like and kind of figure out you know um, when we can do our do our training and so when we sat down for lunch um, on the boat Ross was like okay well what do you want to do and so we kind of discussed um, kind of our plans and do we want to do the training and kind of sail out and then sail back to St. Augustine, um, do like a three or four day with the captain and just kind of end up back here and um, work on selling the RV and things like that. Anyway, uh, we kind of started scheduling out and trying to kind of figure out what we want to do and one of the things that came up was, well, we need we need to move on the boat so that we can put the RV up for sale. Um, so, yeah, Ross kind of, uh, he came in here and was doing something and then came back out and said, hey, why couldn't we just, like, what if we wanted to move on the boat tomorrow night, by tomorrow night? And I was like, oh, well, that's really soon. Um, and he said, well, what's stopping us? We're moving on the boat tomorrow night and I was like mm, other than this place being a complete wreck not a whole lot so I guess we're moving on the boat tomorrow night so I've been cleaning the porthole because I haven't really cleaned that much over there it just wasn't that big of a priority <laughs> um, but now I'm like okay if we're gonna move all our crap on here then we're definitely I'm gonna need those that hole to be clean so yep I guess that's where we're gonna aim for tomorrow night so better start doing some stuff so here is this uh forward port uh under the bed now I guess oh I'd show you the one up there but it's just so hard to get to <laughs> uh, you really have to do like an acrobatic kind of thing to get in there so um there's not a ton in either one of these though but it is organized now so spare parts 
And then I've got another little spare part here that's just like engine stuff um, and the outboard for the dinghy. So that's going to go on top of that one. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for under here. Thank God. That only took like two days. So woohoo. All right. There we go. Nice and tidy. So we've got our container with the um, vacuum sealed clothes. And then this container is actually empty now, but I went ahead and put it under here just so I get out of the way. Um, I was able to get all the extra stuff just kind of laid down in the floor back there. I think that'll actually be better for like humidity control and that stuff. And then, yeah, I guess that's about it. So I used the two big containers to um, hold this bed up on either corner. And then I just kind of slid back in there and arranged the other stuff with the little bit of room I had. And then I just pulled the last two containers down and held the mattress up with my back and got out. So, oh, it is always interesting getting into places on a boat. I know I read about this before I owned a boat, but I totally see what everybody's talking about now. I have been in the most unusual positions <laughs> trying to get things somewhere or clean something lately. So oh, I'm glad this is done though. Definitely worked up a sweat I feel like. So it's about time for happy hour. Got the uh, pillowcases drying for the, oh, there's something back there too. Um, yep, got the pillowcases the outdoor pillowcases drying. You guys probably haven't even seen these yet. They've been in a closet downstairs, but they smelled like grossness and diesel fuel. So <laughs> they went to the laundromat today and uh, Ross hates the color. So if I have time, I might explore painting them. I've seen some other people do that. Um, I don't know lot to do so the color of the pillowcases doesn't seem, really seem like priority right now but we'll see let me know what you guys think are they that terrible <laughs> or will they be fine <laughs> so I'm feeling really silly right now because yesterday I packed everything under our bed and it was kind of a hassle to get it done <laughs> um, and I was really excited because now the beds put back together and I don't plan to like go in there again really um so I've had these uh well it's clearly a hatch cover it looks like a hatch uh noceum cover um so that you can have the hatch open and the noceums don't get in noceums for people I don't know what everybody calls them um tiny bugs that bite um so yeah there were these hatch covers um for the bugs that clearly that's what they were and they had snaps on them and all our hatches, most of our hatches have something that you actually um, pull back and forth, um, at least in the two uh, master rooms or the two queen beds. And then in the other ones, they're, they're smaller hatches, so it, it wasn't for those. Anyway, I was just sitting up in the galley and I realized that the, um, the hatches up in the galley have snaps on them and they don't have any kind of retractable thing like that's clearly what they're for so of course they've been sitting out for weeks and I just put them under the bed yesterday and now I realize hey probably gonna need those occasionally so I will be going back under the bed but I'm gonna wait because guaranteed there's gonna be something else that either needs to go under there or needs to come out of there so there you go learn something new every day so this afternoon we are not moving on the boat today but we're starting to prepare to move on the boat so I went ahead and we went and had lunch at the RV and um, I brought back all my clothes, or almost all my clothes. I still have some stuff to wear in the RV, but pretty much everything is here. I brought it just in like one of our big backpacks and um, I brought my hanging storage, um, which is what I use in the RV pretty much for everything. So we have a, I have like a hanging storage um, closet in the RV and 
that's pretty much where all my clothes are. So that's actually, I, it's great because I can just bring that over here and use it here in one of these uh, lockers. So it's out on deck. I've sprayed the whole thing down with mold blocker because being extra careful with clothing and just taking all the precautions to make sure that um, we keep mold out of the clothing lockers. So, um, but let me show you kind of where I'm gonna be, where I'm, where I'm gonna be putting almost all of my clothes. So this baby, where I got my shoes kind of stuffed in the bottom there. Um, it's about a little over a foot wide, I think, and it's about four and a half feet tall, and it's two feet deep at the top, but as with the boat lockers, it gets, by the time you get to the bottom, it's only about a foot wide, I think. Um, so there's, it's still wide enough for the hanging storage um, piece, so that's, that's good. And there's a lot of breathe, breathing room in the back, too, which is what I was really worried about, is there wouldn't be a... It would be kind of smothered in there and then that's not good for mold so um so yeah there you go and this is really exciting because the spot i have in the rv for my uh clothing is only about half that much tall <laughs> so actually i can drop the storage um thing down a little further and i get a whole nother shelf out of it which is pretty exciting um yeah so uh We'll see, see how it all fits in there. Should be good though. And in case you're wondering, I gave this nice little closet to Ross. This is the one that's actually in the in the master suite, I guess. Well, it's part of the master suite. Mine's right over there, it's by the bathroom. Um, but it's got, I had to give him this one actually, I'm not being that generous, because the bar in here is vertical, so I can't hang my, uh, storage piece on that. I have to I have to um, have the horizontal bar. So uh, he lucked out. He gets this one, and his clothes are bigger than mine. So he's got all these nice shelves. Um, I've already stuffed a bunch of stuff in here <laughs> from his from what we got out of the storage unit. But um, yeah, lots of lots of good space to store clothes. So and I'm actually going to take this little piece down here under the bed for extra stuff. So. I think that'll work out pretty good. Okay, so I've been working at this a little bit and I've decided that the best way to put the clothes in here, I used to just stack them, which is so not the Marie Kondo way to do it. Um, and it's actually been bothering me, not because it's not her way, but because um, whenever, you know when you stack stuff and then you go to pull out the thing in the middle and then everything, anyway, by the end of by the time it's due, you got to do laundry again, everything is just a wreck in here. So I'm really excited. I think that these baskets fit really nice. And I think they'll also help probably with the humidity just because it's plastic and hopefully it's not like cloth on cloth in here. Um, God, look at my... I swear I wear more than that pastel peach or pink color and navy and blue <laughs> and white. What the crap. <laughs> okay, I don't know how that happened, but anyway, um, so I've just got some of my, like, nicer tops in here, and then I put shorts and some skirts in here, and I think I'm just gonna, I only had two of these, so I think I'm gonna get a few more of these at Big Lots and do a couple more shelves, and that will be very pleasant to look at, and then when it's, you know, four days in, it won't be a total wreck in there it'll be nice and boop, boop, boop. by the way if anybody's been doing or watching the Marie Kondo and doing their crap like redoing their house you know she always says that the fo the clothes will tell you how they like to be folded I want her to come and fold these uh khaki southern tide shorts because they do not like to be folded like this <laughs> I tried for like probably 10 minutes to find their way that they wanted to be folded and they want to be folded the regular way where it's like one fold and then they just lay down on the shelf there but I've, I've stuffed them in there they're very unhappy <laughs> all right anyway i'm still got some more clothes i'm going through here so uh yeah that's my update for today